Hey YouTube lads, Eddie Kandris there doing another action figure review and uh, this is something I'm quite excited for. It only arrived during the week. Well, at the time of this recording it only arrived during the week. And what this is, is the Hayatoys Robocop 2 Robocane. Now as far as I'm aware, this is the first time any toy company has actually done a articulated version of this figure. There has been model kits, as far as I know, and Kotobukiya, if I'm pronouncing the name correctly, I think it was Kotobukiya, did a statue, like a blind box statue. They did a whole series of Robocop and Robocop 2 minifigures and kind of small busts and stuff like that. That There was a Ro Robo Kane as part of that line. It was like... It was fixed pose, you couldn't move any of the components on it, but it was the figure, this creature, or wouldn't say creature, this amazingly, bizarrely designed mechanical monstrosity would probably be the best thing to say. So before I get hit cracking on the figure, we'll just go quickly on the box. So you can see the Robocop 2 logo up top here, which is the movie it is from. You see an image of the figure here, and you have exquisite mini Robocane. It's blank on the bottom, Robo Robocop 2 logo on the top. You have an image of the figure at the side. You have another image of the figure at that side. And then you have an image of Robocop versus this creature, or I keep calling it creature, this mechanical monstrosity behind. And then you have all the legally stuff. And there's two versions of this. So this is the standard version. There is also a battle damage version, which has, as far as I'm aware, it has an opening that has the face plate here open and it has the little holographic screen kind of type thing i'm not sure if the screen is holographic or it's just painted but in the movie this splits open and you can see his uh kane's face kind of in here which is kind of cool but you have amazing work and detail of this thing all around i'll just do a 360 because i don't have one of those little turntables but it is an amazingly detailed uh figure Actually, hang on a moment. I'm just going to move my camera, or not camera, my light a bit so it gets better lighting. So this thing has some a good bit of articulation. There's some things that don't articulate, and then there's some that are do. So the arm can move up. They can move forward. They rotate here as well. There is a lower arm. Now, I would stress, be careful with these piping. They're quite small. This can hinge out. It has a hinge here, hinge here. In the movie, this comes down. In fact, if I remember correctly, in the movie, this rotates down as well. But I, because of the, how small the joint is, I don't think they could pull that off. This thing rotated around. But if, uh, I can get live without it. Then you have, like, I think this is like a welding torch. On this side, it has the same articulation as the other arm. The This arm has similar articulation. has a joint. has an in... Uh, in joint doesn't go out because of the way this thing is if it goes in the claw articulates now this doesn't rotate it would be kind of cool again if it could have rotated but again due to the bizarre design overall design of this thing uh i can see where they had to limit some of the articulation I and mean, even the legs they had to limit some of it otherwise it would have been far too spindly I remember watching a, was it Stan Winston did this design? I, can't, I don't think it was Stan Winston's company did this design. But I, I remember watching like a making of Robocop 2. And the designer behind this deliberately created a, a, this thing in the idea that it would be very hard to replicate if anyone ever wanted to make like a figure of it or model of it or anything designed of it like it would be incredibly hard to pull off i remember seeing something along those lines like it would it should be far more top heavy than it is but it does they did manage to get him to stand quite nicely um he has hinges on his feet which i would stress just to be very careful with. he has hinges here he has hinges here he has lots of moving parts um just be careful with these thinner cabling if they, they might snap these legs don't rotate out it looks like there's a joint here where it should kind of pop out but it doesn't it has like this joint here at the hip and then joint here at the lower hip so you can kind of get him standing massively tall he doesn't do this in the movie but you can get him standing like super tall 
uh, he's more designed to have this kind of more crouched position. He does have a rotation here. Now he has nothing in the upper waist from what I can see. There should be a whole bunch of uh, pistons and actuators and stuff on like that that can rotate the body around, but because of this design, it's really hard to do so. Um, the other arm I have, I don't have issue with, but it's very hard to work with is, and I don't want to stress it, this claw comes out. Now I don't believe this inner claw moves at all. It kind of looks like it does, but I wouldn't re recommend overstressing it. This thing goes forward. In fact, if you remember in the film, he uses it as sort of like a punching. I think he punches Robocop with it. He kind of uses it as a battering ram. The Gatling gun does rotate, which is a nice touch. It could have just left it solid. It wouldn't have made much difference to it, but it has a lot of articulation. Now, unlike the right hand where this can hinge in like that, this one doesn't have that hinge on it. As far as you can see, it just has the hinge forward and back and can move side to side. But like, there is a lot going on with this guy. Head is on a somewhat ball joint. I don't want to overstress it, but it can turn side to side easily enough. It has that weird kind of battle hamlet design. Even the back of it has a lot of detailing going on. Overall, this thing is amazingly detailed. Now, unlike the Robocop figures that they did, this guy doesn't actually come with a, um, uh, display base. The most of the high toys figures come with some sort of display base. In fact, this is the one from the Judge Dread set. So usually they come with a display base. In fact, he, he doesn't even have peg holes. So, like the Robocop ones came with like street. It was supposed to like um, side bit of sidewalk and roadway kind of type thing. Unfortunately, I don't have any of them to hand at the moment. Typical. Uh, planning but uh, I don't have any of that so where is my tape measure gone because I want to do a tape measure on how big this guy is I had it earlier there it is so this guy actually does stand quite quite tall so he is around a six five five and a quarter I'd say and if you stand him up on that those extra hind leg things you probably get him up to the six inch mark easily enough as I said he, he wasn't designed to do that at least in movie but um he does stand because of his design he is designed to fit with the robocop figure of the same movie so if i just bring in my robocop bear with me a moment all right get him in here is i think this is the robocop 2 version there was a robocop one i have all of robocop 1 2 and 3 versions i think the robocop 2 had that more bluish is, uh, metallics to it whereas the robocop one was more silver or it could be the other way around but it is one of the robocop figures that use reuse the same mold as robocop one and two so you can see him next to his counterpart and then for another size comparison because i have him handy and i was looking at him earlier on let's move robocop into the middle of these two that are coming in or the, the extra figure that will be coming in i do have good old this guy the ED-209, another staple from the Robocop uh, franchise. It's not. I always find the audio on this, on the higher toys one is so much lower than the audio that you get with the um, NECA version. But you do, I do have this version, which is, I think I did a review for this one as well. I know I did a review for the NECA one. But you have the higher toys version of ED-209. So you can see they scale quite nicely together. And then for just more kind of human comparisons, here he is with Alan Grant. Let me bring in a Deathstroke figure from the uh, Spin Masters. Do we have anyone from the galaxy far, far away? Oh, we do. We have Obi-Wan in hiding, or the wandering Jedi Obi-Wan. So we can bring him in, if I can give him the bloody stand. Come on, stand Obi Wan. So you can see scaling for Kane, Robo Kane, with all these figures. Um, unfortunately, I don't know if Hayao Toys have any plans on making the kind of human characters. I would love to see them do an Officer Lewis at least, but I don't know if they're going to do that. Um, oh, actually, for another size comparison, because he's just underneath all bunch of figures here, and they're fairly recent. 
bring in the um, Eagle Force Returns figure. Major Draconis, I think it was his name, or something along those lines. But you can see modern figure next to him. Um, overall, really good figure. Um, the detailing on him is amazing. I haven't had any QC issues with him. As I said, I do stress, just be careful with those cablings. They could be very fragile to snap if you overstress them or over push them. So just be careful of that. But all in all, he is a fantastic done figure uh again he's a really awkward design from a from an action figure point of view for getting poses and stuff like that so or not poses but for the overall design for getting him created it is a huge nod to higher toys i do remember i mean it must have been a fairly interesting challenge to to design him from the ground up for where the joints and stuff would be on him because he's a bizarre bizarre design overall but he looks really really cool so all in all i do recommend getting him he is available at the time of this recording on big bad toy store um i think the i don't think the battle damage version is available just yet uh it might be available soon but hopefully they'll have it in stock at some point but do recommend getting him if you can pick him up at a reasonable price if he's if you're watching this video many 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 moons down the line he may be out of stock there and then it's over to ebay or whatever um kind of secondary marketplaces is the only place then so as always i do uh appreciate the likes thumbs up and subscriptions to my channel so if you can please do so and have a good day cheers guys thanks for watching